Hello and welcome back to the World of Tech. I'm Darren Dunn. It is October the 4th and their Apple event has just finished. What do they have? Not much new. The same iPhone case with a different name and different insides. It's Darren Dunn, it's the World of Tech and it's all coming up right after the intro. <laughs> So let's go over, I've got my notes here, let's take a look at some of the stuff that there was going on about at the keynote. 250 million iOS devices sold. Wow, that's a lot of people. Who are they calling? 140,000 iPad apps on the market. 18 billion apps downloaded. That is a lot of applications. Something called iCards now. Basically your iPhone... Right way up, please. Your iPhone's going to be able to make a card and Apple will send it for two... 99 that's two dollars ninety nine four dollars ninety nine if it's outside of the US what else have we got new from the keynote iOS 5 is coming <laughs> October the 12th I used to have it my device went wrong but October the 12th it's coming to a phone near you iPhone 4s now this is meant to be how do I say it the best part of the show I'm disappointed I wanted an iPhone 5, so let's talk about iPhone 4S. So I'm just going to run over a few of the specifications. It's getting a dual core A5 chip, 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte. 64 gigabyte is going to run you $399 on contract. It's got dual core graphics, really, really nice upgrades inside, seven times faster than original iPhone. Yes, the phone back from 2007. It's seven times faster. It's got a new antenna. Now, the technology built into the antenna, if you're covering one antenna, the iPhone will then swap to the other antennas to avoid getting signal loss. Very clever, Apple, but it's got two times faster as well. So it's two times faster than the iPhone 4S, which I have here. You'd probably think it's the iPhone 4. It looks the same. So it's having... HSDPA plus. So no 4G, but HSDPA plus. Get in there. That's a bit of a bonus. It's a new camera with eight megapixels. So it's not five megapixel anymore. It's gone up to the eight megapixel with with an f 2.4 aperture. So it's really really nice. It's going to let in 73% more light. So that's something that's also to be impressed. New video recording at 1080p. That's full high definition video recording up from the iPhone 4's 720p. I'm reading these all from our blog, theworldoftech.net. Let's take a look at something else as well. It's got video image stabilization, real-time noise reduction, GSM and CDMA, so Sprint, AT&T and Verizon, for those of you that don't know the difference. CDMA is SIM card-less, GSM is the ones with the SIM card. So AT&T, they use a SIM card, it's GSM, Verizon, it's CDMA. Apple's designed ISP, wireless mirroring the iPhone, and a new voice assistant called Siri. Finally, when you're screaming at the iPhone, whether it's I hate you, you suck, it's going to listen, and finally it's going to listen. You know, if you have something that you want to do, you can make a reservation reservation well like a calendar appointment right on your phone how smart is that so what do you think about the iPhone 4 s are you disappointed I certainly am one thing that I'm pleased about is I'm getting an upgrade on Tuesday so I'm gonna be getting a white iPhone 4 s so stay tuned to the world of tech.net for all of your Apple coverage iPhone 4 s unboxing and review and some head-to-head -head comparisons with the outgoing 4 iPhone 4 I was about to say 4g model it's Darren Dunn follow us on Twitter at World of Tech UK. I'm now going to go and cry because I'm disappointed. <laughs>